Hey guys, this is Prime Ross talking to you. Welcome to my channel. I know it's been a while since I post a video on YouTube. That's because I've been having a lot of work. So it has been a little tricky and difficult to for me to post a new video, but it's okay. Since now that we are in May and we do have a lot of activities happening uh, throughout the, the island, especially about the flower fest, which is happening between the 5th and the 29th of May. I am trying as much as I can to film, make it like a kind of documentary about the different activities uh, that is happening together with the flower fest. Before we start with the actual parade or the actual activities that are happening this year. Let me talk to you a little bit. How did the, all this enjoyment from the Flower Fest started? So first of all, most of the people say that the Flower Fest started in 1974, but the first event about flowers started in 1954. It was not a celebration as it is today with a flower parade and all of those uh, activities, of course. It started in 1954 in the commercial athletic Athenaeum from Funchal. It wasn't a flower parade, it was more of a contest about the different uh, flowers that actually belong to Madeira and to evaluate which flower was the most beautiful one. But the roses were still the ones that were more worshipped at the time of this event. This first event in 1954 was such a blast that they realized that this could be made every year. After a long time, people were starting to put more stuff inside this fest because more and more people coming to the island just to see the flower fest. And that's how it changed from four days to almost a month and throughout this month the people started making more and more activities stuff for people to see so it wouldn't be only a short period of time it was only in 1979 that this event stopped being made by the commercial athenaeum to be made by the tourism direction from madeira But before that, let me talk to you a little bit about how was it before a pandemic, during the pandemic, and right now, a little bit after the pandemic. So before the pandemic, which was in 2019, it was said to be the best parade ever happening in Madeira. It actually happened in, in the similar days. It started on the 2nd of May and it continued until the 26th of May. So this celebration that they made in 2019 was to celebrate the 600th anniversary of the discovery of Madeira. On 2019, there were a lot of concerts, the flower tapestry, the parades, the farmer's market, and between other activities. This month of flower celebration was usually made on the first Sunday of May, which by us here in Portugal is the Mother's Day. And after that would go almost a whole month, almost, or maybe three weeks, depends on how you see it. They had 14 groups making the, the flower parade with almost 2,000 participants. That means participants not only for the parade, but also for other activities that were happening in Madeira throughout the Funchal. As you might have already realized, this event usually happens every May. And in 2020, there was this blast about the pandemic. The whole world went into a quarantine where basically Madeira was closed a month before the flower festival, which meant that we wouldn't be able to do the festival at all. So they noticed that after summer, the cases were going a little down. So they thought, why not make this event together with the event from the wine fest? This event brought more than 2000 people to participate in this event, bringing a lot of different activities to the public. 
because there was happening all these uh, different situations about the pandemic instead of having so many groups as they had the year before they had uh, only nine groups for the flower parade usually the, the parade until 2019 was very concentrated in one place and what they did to how the people having a little more space and uh, you know because of the distance that they had to have between them they decided to make performances throughout different areas in Funchal and the best part is because they did this and it was two different things happening at the same time they had more people coming to the island and more people trying to see this ac different activities and our performances and you know everything that we were having in throughout this month of september they had more than 9,000 chairs for people to watch one other thing that they brought to this event was the so-called mural of hope they basically made this to ensure that the people would feel just a little bit hope taking in consideration what was happening throughout uh, in our island and also throughout the uh, world at the time So in 2021, they decided to do the same thing. The event was from the 1st to 24th of September, and it was again uh, two uh, festivals combined in one. It was again uh, celebrated with the wine festival. Unfortunately, I do not know how many groups were performing in 2021 because this information apparently disappeared. I don't know, I cannot find uh, how many it was. But this event in 2021 was really a very beautiful it was even better mixture between the flower fest and the wine fest all combined something that they even improved from the year before now that i finally managed to tell you what it was what happened in the pandemic time and what is actually happening right now. So the event from this year, 2022, uh, happens between the 5th and the 29th of May. We have different activities happening from the floral tapestry. That was something that was introduced to the festival and it was uh, used especially for the religious positions. Other uh, activity that is going to happen is concert stage, where it's also in here in this Achiaga Square. They have different people that are from the island that uh, will participate. There will be also on Fridays and Saturdays, you will see uh, a event where they show how it used to be at the beginning when we start with our tourism of course it's more it's a theatrical exposition there is also this shop where you can find different craft stuff made by the islanders these are not about the flowers these are mostly about the different things that people here on the island do nowadays Also, if you go down the People's Square or Praça do Povo, you will find there a huge building in light green. The exposition is a similar exposition that used to happen from the beginning, still continues to be something that is very important for the islanders. The flowers that are there are evaluated by a jury and in this area you can find different uh, types of plants that are from the island and they are evaluated by a jury and the best ones will be then distinguished by a specialized jury if you go to the Arriaga square you also have the opportunity to see a small barracks where you can also buy the different flowers and different plants We also had people from the theater acting and painting, you know, those live sculptures. among uh, many other things that will happen but i will leave that information for the next video there are still more things to come and more things to talk about that's happening on the island and will happen and ha already happened that i am going to show you throughout the next weeks 
okay? I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to leave a comment on the section down below. If you were here in Madeira, what was your experience? What did you do here during this time? And if you liked the video, remember to smash that like button. And if you haven't already subscribed yet, remember to do that right now so you can see the upcoming videos. I'll see you next time. Bye! Blooper guy. Uh, on this parade, how many people were they? I'm just gonna say quantum groups like thing. Festen, the fourth, the smiling queue. Okay, but quantum quantum group. Da, is this a quantum group? You understand this? But quantum groups.